Hello and welcome to this Dawn Busters. Dawn Busters Taste Challenge. Um, still dark and it's rainy, very rainy. Let's see what the weather looks like. Any more coming? Look at the radar here. We have this morning from 1867, but rebranded in 1909 as Red Label. Originally, Johnny, uh, originally Walker's Old Highland Red, but it's Johnny Walker Red Label. Rebranded in 1909, aged at least three years. Contains up to 30 different Scotch whiskeys. Owned by Diageo now. And the competitor is Cuddy Sark, owned by Glenn Turner these days. I noticed in the craft beer world, yeah, the craft beer world, people get a hissy fit on buyouts, but I think people in the liquor world are more familiar with the, the common occurrence of one company buying another. Let's see here. I don't know what's the hold up on the radar. Uh, we got more coming, looks like, maybe in an hour and a half. So Cuddy Sark says... Uh, a whiskey that was born to be mixed. There you go. So if you're sitting there saying, I'm going to pick out all these fabulous erudite flavors, you might be disappointed because they're not supposed to have all that. Cuddy Sark should be mixed wherever people mix. This means that we haven't made a sipping whiskey for quiet nights in. Our whiskey tastes best when you're around your friends, no matter what you have planned for the night ahead. Well, this, it's still nighttime, at least. I have some viewing friends, I guess. So, uh... There you go. I don't have any friends over here, but I if I can think of a few that would, at this time of the morning, try it. <laughs> uh, in our Cuddy blend, we carefully select whiskeys that have been matured separately. So you got different whiskeys aging in different barrels, and then marry and blend them together. So they age them separately, then they blend them. The result, a lighter spirit, which is rather refreshing, and subtle vanilla flavors, which are key to master Mastering mixing. All right. There's also the prohibition, which I've not had. I've seen it here and there. Haven't seen it commonly. Commonly. Jojo. Hi, Jay. Hope your week is going well. It really is. <clears throat> Thanks, Jojo. I hope yours too. This has been a good week. Has been a good week for me. Okay. So put that there. Cuddy Sark has changed their labels over the years. So has Johnny Walker. But if you get on the Cuddy Sark website, there's a whole history showing all the labels for the last uh, 97 years. Very interesting. Okay, so make sure I got my labels correct. I think Cuddy Sark is a lighter color. They say it's light on the website. And it's PD. And it's got that kind of greenish gold look that you get with some of these, like Clan McGregor. It's got a compass on the back in case you're navigating. <laughs> it's named after a ship, clipper ship. So therefore the navigation, nice metal cap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's embossed, so it feels nice. Johnny Walker also embossed with the striding man on the back. Official appointment to the royal household. This is has a royal warrant to provide liquor to the royal family who haven't all the royal family who haven't um, abandoned their responsibilities and left for Canada, I should say. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> If you're stripped of your royal titles, then you have to um, drink whiskey that's no more than $8 a bottle. I think that's a British rule or something. I read that in uh, Mad Magazine. I think they were talking about that. All right, anyway. Um, oh, yes. You see the Cuddy Sark is straw gold. Look how light. Look at, look at that. Even has a green tint to it if you're in the right light. And the Johnny Walker has an amber appearance. Amber. 
You might even say it's tan, more brown, and this one's more yellow. So this was in the this is in the yellow spectrum, almost like cornflower. And this one is in the tan spectrum, the brown spectrum, yellow and brown. All right, earth tones. You're in the desert and the sun comes up. All right, sort of thing. All right. Oh, man. I can get to the desert in a one day, in a one day drive. I mean, all day. If I leave here at five in the morning, by sundown, I can be getting to the desert parts of West Texas. Assuming there's no bad wrecks or anything or hold up. You know what I'm saying? Typical driving conditions. Uh, then the next day I could drive into California. I've done that before. I drove to El Paso one day. It took me like 14 hours, but I was kind of stopping and looking at stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't going direct. Like I got off on the old U.S. Highway 290, which is now Texas 290, and that kind of like wiggles through the mountains, and you know that's that's going to slow you down, but it was interesting, you know, and then I went to El Paso, and then the next day drove to, to oh, well, uh, I could have driven to San Diego, but I went to San, to Phoenix, because I wanted to see the Arizona Diamondbacks play baseball, never tried Cuddy Sark. Leaving Earth says, so, yeah, it's pretty good. You can get it for about $15, $16, $17 a bottle. It really varies, you know, around here. So you could check around. Walmart might have it cheaper, but you know, you're talking about about $15 a bottle. You can get the bigger bottles, of course, they're cheaper. The big glass bottles, 1.75 mil a liter. Uh Johnny Walker, you talking at a at minimum, the lowest you're going to find it is $17.99 at Martin Wine Cellar. Great price. Great price. But typically around here, it'd be about $20 to $22 a bottle. $20 to $22. If I was looking to buy some more, though, that that uh, that would be a temptation. Now, now, two days ago, two days ago, I was at Savannah Discount, Louisiana's greatest liquor store. So far in my experience. They had the big handle bottles, 1.75 liter of Johnny Walker Red Label, $34.95. No, 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 no. You won't find it anywhere close to that price at any other store. Not even Walmart's going to match that price. I mean, if I was looking to buy a bottle, I'd have snapped it up too sweet. But I mean, I wasn't looking to buy more, but boy, what a bargain. That that place, Savannah Discount, is the most incredible. That's where I bought the Johnny Walker Blue Label, which for Louisiana prices was a good price, $229.99. Other states like California, it's a bad price. California gets the Blue Label cheap for whatever re weird reason, $175. But then a lot of other things in California cost a fortune, you know, so it's a trade off. But that's a big trade off. I mean, $229.99 compared to $175. And they have a California special, like its own dedicated label and box, like for California production. Kind of like with uh, automobiles, you'll get those California specials. They even made a few Mustangs that were uh, Ford Mustangs, California only. CS, California special. They're collectible now because they had a, the flag of California, different badging, Ford Mustang CS. California special even had it at 1968. And then later on, there was a Colorado special. Might've been the same year, but I think it was later and uh, had the flag of auto and it was called a Colorado special. That was very rare. Wasn't a dealer add on, just a special thing that they, uh, oh yeah. And you also get Texas dedicated products. A lot of times trucks. I see a lot of Louisiana people drive around with Texas edition made only for Texas. And Louisiana, because we know that a lot of them next door buy Texas stuff. <laughs> That's true. Like Ziegenbach beer, you get on the Ziegenbach website, made in Texas for Texans only. Only sold in Texas. And then I bought it in Louisiana and I called the company. I was like, I thought it was only uh, made for Texans. Oh, yeah. 
It is only Texas and Louisiana. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> this smells uh, like a lot of grain. Cereal grain. You know what I'm saying? Distilled cereal. And that's what it smells like. You ever had a box of cereal? Children's cereal? Now, without the salt, without sugar. You say a multi-grain cereal. Yeah, corn and barley. Smell like an old people cereal. You know what? Like Special K and grape nuts. What old people eat children who can't stand them, you know? Brand cereal, something like that. This one smells less like that. This one's smokier. This one has smoke, like smoked pork. So I know it's Johnny Walker. Oh, well, yeah, it's got cereal grain. I mean, it's whiskey. So, you know, whiskey smell like distilled cereal, which makes sense since that's what it is. All right. Which smell, which one smells better? Mm. I think the Johnny Walker smells better because the Cuddy Stark smells a little bit like rotted, rotten vegetable matter. Like it's rotted a little bit. You say it ain't rotten. I know it isn't rotted. I say it smells rotted. Okay. Taste time. Yeppers. Yeah, it's got that cutty sark taste. Got that little sting, like a stinging sensation. Um, the bread dough, it's like bread dough if you were making, um, well, homemade bread. Or maybe if you got dinner rolls, you know, and they were raw and you tasted a little bit, which is not advised because you could get sick from that germs could be in it but anyway like that raw dough mm. and that's got to be coming from single malts single malt whiskey the grain that kind of sharp if you want to say harsh grain flavor is coming from the grain whiskeys because these are blends the body's about 80 percent grain whiskey that's not going to have much flavor or aroma. It'll have a body. The flavor is going to come from that 20% blend, you know, a various um, single malt whiskeys. You say, oh, you mean like the United States, they have the blended whiskey, which is the same concept. Grain whiskey, usually unaged, neutral grain spirits, corn, liquor, moonshine, basically, blended with about 20% straight bourbon, usually cast off bourbon that didn't quite make the cut on what they were trying to bottle straight bourbon. Exactly. So it blended together in the, <clears throat> then it's a class of product called American blended whiskey. Pretty popular stuff. I see people drinking it all the time, buying it. You say, yeah, uh, that only poor people buy that stuff. Well, if you look at per capita income, Louisiana is one of the lowest states in the United States, one of the poorest per capita on average, the least amount of income, Mississippi, Louisiana. So you, it would make sense that you would see a lot of that around here because it's a more impoverished state relative to the other 50 states. But relative to most countries in the world, it would be extremely wealthy. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now let's go over here. You know, in Texas, if Texas was its own country, like it used to be, it would be one of the biggest countries in the world and one of the definitely one of the wealthiest. Very smoky, so it's Johnny Walker. I can open my eyes now. 
What can you tell us about Cuddy Sork? Yeah, it's very bready, dope bread dough. So if you like a whiskey, if you think you would like a whiskey that would be mild, very mild, and has a lot of bread dough flavor, like I said, dinner roll type thing. No, you know, not with butter, you know. But uh, I think you'd like Cuddy Sark. But like they're saying on the website, it's made as a mixer. It's made to buy and make mixed drinks. And they give many suggestions, recipes. So it's helpful. Say, make this, make a highball, whatever. Eh, eh, eh. Can you drink it neat like I'm doing? You can. And I am. Hear sirens again. But it's not the optimum utilization. It's not designed for that. So the prohibition version, the black bottle. Yeah. Okay. So then you're going to get a lot more flavor. That's designed as more of a neat or on the rocks. But still using it improperly. I like it. I would buy it again, you know, in theory, at least. I've been drinking old fashions as of late, says Jojo. That was my mother and my grandfather, her father's favorite drink. They'd always get old fashions. Go out to a restaurant. First, th first thing, I want an old fashioned. Were they using straight bourbon, like old granddad bonded? Uh, these restaurants are pretty, pretty uh, as they say in England, dodgy, crafty. Got to watch them. They're probably using cheap blended bur uh, whiskey. I've watched these restaurants do it. You say, oh, but you pay a lot of money for a, a cocktail or a, yeah, you do. But they're trying to get by cheap. I've watched these rest restaurants. You say, hmm. Beams eight star. Okay. Heaven Hill Quality House. Hmm. Yep. All right. That's where they make their money. You know, they're charging eight dollars for a cocktail, and it's it's costing them. If it costs them eighty cents, then it costs them a lot. That's including labor, taxes, overhead, rent, everything. Eighty cents to make the cocktail selling it for eight bucks. Selling iced tea for a dollar twenty five costs them. Maybe 12 cents. Beer, 450 for a 75 cent beer. So it's that uh, the food is a close margin. You know, food is can be expensive, but the the drinks is where the money's coming in. Oh well. The Johnny Walker is very smoky and it tastes like smoked pork. It tastes like wood that burnt. You know, wood burns and you get this smoke. It'd be like, uh, you know, like you might have clothes hanging up and somebody next door is burning stuff, something and all the smoke goes to the clothes. Then all your clothes smell like smoke. You say, oh, damn you. You know, I was drying my clothes. Well, it's infused with smoke. That's what this whiskey is. It's infused with a smoke flavor because they roast the malt over peat fires and the smoke is infused, and you can't get rid of that smoky taste. You might say, oh, no, I could never drink that. And they have beers they make that way. They, they take beers, and they roast them, the malts, over a beech wood fire. They burn in the beech wood, and, and then the beer tastes like smoked pork, just like this tastes like smoked pork. So I don't know. I don't know how you'd feel about drinking basically smoke. You say, you mean like liquid smoke that you buy in the bottle? Colgen or what are those other companies? Yeah, same concept. Same concept. Because the liquid smoke, they, they get it from infusing the liquid with the smoke from a burning, whatever they burning, oak or whatever they burning, mesquite, then they have the mesquite where they burn the mesquite and all of that, pecan, you could take pecan trees and burn. So it's all in the conception. Could you do that with American beers, uh, whiskeys? Well, of course you could. 
and some people probably have. I bet if you search around, you could find some smoky bourbons, whatever. I just, I'm not aware of them. It's not really a, a, an American thing to have that. And I know a lot of Americans, when you say the word scotch, they get angry and say, get away from me. I hate that garbage. You know, that stuff's so nasty and gross. And I tell them, well, don't you find it's kind of interesting? No. I, they say, I'd rather drink whiskey. I, or they'll say, I'd rather drink whiskey or bourbon. And you say, well, you know, scotch is a whiskey. <laughs> it's a type of whiskey. Bourbon is a type of whiskey. But, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that. And they ain't going to research it. Best quality budget whiskey I know of is probably Clan McGregor. Leaving Earth says, I'm not fond of smoked myself. Yeah, see, so this would not. If you don't like that smoky taste, this is going to just, you're going to say, you know. Um, Clan McGregor is a real winner, and I can get it for $9.97 a bottle. The only other one that would compete and maybe surpass it, maybe surpass it. Now I'm I'm gonna be honest. I always I'm honest. I always I have no reason to lie. I wouldn't lie. There's no good reason to lie. Um, Hunter Pipers from Shivas Brothers, kind of like a cheap one they sell. You know the main one is Shivas Regal, right? Shivas 18 year age, Shivas Mitsunara, and all that. But they, they make one that they started in 1965 called 100 Pipers, kind of their budget brand a little bit. I mean, it is a budget brand. I can get 750 milliliters of, of I know where to get it. I, don't, I, I hate to say it because then you're going to go buy it all. That's all right. You can buy it. I have enough. I can go buy a 750. I can buy 750 milliliters of 100 Pipers for $3.98. True story. No lie. <laughs> it's the truth. 750 milliliters of 100 pipers for three dollars 98 cents now it i challenge you to find liquor cheaper than that you say oh no i know this guy from rwanda he sells liquor out of a trailer behind the uh the housing project and the uh, thrift store in detroit yeah but you'll go blind if you drink that you know fast eddie's gonna sell it but I'm talking about legitimate products you could actually buy in a store, you know, that's not going to make you die. Okay. In the show, Mad Men, the lead character loves to drink old fashions. Yeah, that was like a really popular drink in the 60s. Then it kind of died out, except for my grandmother and my mother, grandfather. But now it's like the end thing again. Now people like to go around to restaurants talk about, yeah, I'm drinking an old fashioned, you know, so whatever, you know. I'm going to call a winner. I, th I think Johnny Walker is better. I think the Johnny Walker Red is the winner. That's not really a quality issue. It's more of a personal preference issue, though. Is uh, Cuddy Sark well made? Yes. Is it a classic? Certainly. Is it worth buying? Without a doubt. Is it popular around the world? You know it. Go to any of these liquor stores in Louisiana. They got Cuddy Sark. They got people that only drink that. You know, they get angry if you criticize it. It's like, let me tell you something. I've been drinking that since 1971. When I got back from Vietnam, don't tell me it's bad. So, you know, it's 40% alcohol now. It used to be high or about 43. Johnny Walker used to be about 43, 44% alcohol. But these things have been dumbed, if you want to use the term, dumbed down uh, the last 40 years. But, oh, well, I can't control that. People ask me, don't you remember back in 1975 when these were much stronger? No, I don't remember that because in 1975, I wasn't drinking whiskey. Might have been drinking yoo or iced tea or something, you know? Okay, um, so I prefer Johnny Walker, but I think they're both quality products. So either way the cut goes, you're getting a, you're getting a value. They're, 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 a good, they're a good, solid premium. They're at the premium price point with uh, Scotch whiskeys. So salute to Scotland, part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Uh, I see these Scottish people on Facebook always throwing a fit about Scotland not being independent. Doesn't matter to me. I, I'm not British, but uh, 
the comical thing about it is that the King of Scotland became the leader of Great Britain. It wasn't opposite. Okay. It's like, why are you mad? Because your king became their king. It's not, you know, King James the sixth of Scotland became became King James the first of England, and his descendants rule today. They're Scottish. They're almost more Scottish than you say. Now they're more German than British. Well, um, yeah, okay. Um, but even the Supreme Court of Great Britain said, uh, what did they say in a recent ruling? You can't break away. Something like you're still a colony, like basically you're a colony of Great Britain, of England. You can't break away. You have no, I don't know. I don't even care. Let them fight, argue. I mean, not fight. We are, we're for peace. We promote peace. Oh, well, um, I know the Canadian Supreme Court said that about Quebec. Even if you vote to break away, you can't. <laughs> oh, well. Enough said. Um, so two good products. Now, what's coming up next uh, in two days? Well, tonight we're going to try to do um, Thunder and Thursday because of uh, too much to do Friday. Thunder and Thursday, and I'm going to do the rum taste challenge. That'll be for the Friday slot. I'm planning to do Ram Pantalba Gold, about the most ho-hum thing you ever drunk in your life, you ever drink in your life, versus aristocrat rum. Aristocrat is okay, and I think aristocrat is going to whip Ram Pantalba. Sorry, Sazerac, but, uh, you know, their $6.99 a liter of rum is better than your $6.99 a liter of rum. But I don't know that quite yet because I haven't done the blind taste test. I don't know what James P. Madonna is going to bring. I don't know if other people are going to join. I don't plan to go on more than an hour due to uh, National Basketball related issues, National Basketball Association related issues. Um, the next Scotch Saturday is going to be Cuddy Sark. No, what am I saying? I just did Cuddy Sark. I'm sorry, Clan McGregor. What 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 Leaving Earth was talking about? Clan McGregor since 1934. Yeah, bottled in New Jersey since 1934. That's that's their game plan. They say it's really good scotch, but we save money by bottling it in the USA, and we pass the savings on to you. It's not really that it's cheap junk. It's just that we avoid a lot of shipping problems by shipping bottles across the uh, the uh, ocean, which makes sense, doesn't it? in a big old huge tanker. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Um, may as well tell you now, after Clan McGregor, I'm planning to do um, JW Dance Scotch, which is from a Heaven, Heaven Hill source. And it's got the longest essay I ever saw about Scotch on a bottle. It's like paragraphs. Uh, J.W. Dance, which is a bourbon company, their 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 specialty is uh, actually bottled and bond straight bourbon, but they bring in a scotch from Scotland. They don't make it, you know, they just pay in somebody to make it, but it's not bad for eight ninety nine a liter. I repeat, I said that correctly, eight dollars and ninety nine cents a liter. And I told my friend David about it, and he bought it. He said this stuff's not bad. I said I told you, you know. He was put off by the grain alcohol part of it. Like, wh why do they use grain alcohol? That's cheating. I said, that's what Scotch whiskey is, David. I said, it's, it's, it's a blend. It's not all malt whiskey. But anyway, and then um, he's still got the bottle and he's sipping on it from time to time. After that, we've got uh, um, oh well, uh, some Sazerac brands, Inverhouse. Um, Highland Mist. Uh, I can't think of the name of the other one. We got some more. So anyway, stay tuned. And uh, over the next week and a half, we'll do the rest of the Scotch whiskeys. And we're going to pivot over to, you know what? Bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey and one bourbon that's a blend of bourbon. Okay, thanks for watching this video production.